Rosalie. All right, guys, welcome back. We've got a special segment here for you today. We've got Rosalie Potter with Potter Family Farm, and then we've got George UG with Southern Inn, a delicious and amazing chef. So before we get to the good old cooking, Rosalie, tell me a little bit about the Potter Family Farm. The Potter Farm is a seven generation farm located in the Shenandoah Valley. And uh, we pride ourselves in remaining a sustainable family farm. And that has uh, allowed us to create a branded beef program, which we call Buffalo Creek Beef. And um, we sell our beef here locally in town uh, through our retail store, Cattleman's Market. And we also uh, sell to restaurants and other area businesses that want to showcase our product. Uh, George Hugey, who's with Southern Inn, is one of our customers, and uh, we think we have a pretty good product, and so we always like to uh, showcase somebody that we know is going to do our product justice, and George does a really good job at that, and so that's why we've asked him to showcase some short ribs for us today. And you know what? Let me tell you, I've already been frustrated with 2020 and this pandemic and the social distancing and the mask. But when I tell you I'm upset that I'm not in that kitchen with you two right now, smelling all this food that he's about to make, it really upsets me. But that's OK, because I'm not going to be the only one. Everyone at home is going to be waiting and watching what George is doing. So, George, what you got for us, buddy? So George is uh, going to tell us a little bit about what he's prepared for us today. So we've been, uh, we have some short ribs here and uh, not sure if you can see them. I like cooking in a cast iron skillet because mm -hmm. I can sear the meat and uh, braise it in the oven all in one pan. And you get all the, uh, that the goodness and the, uh, the fonds of the meat. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll sear the meat in the in a uh, medium high pan. Then we'll put in some, uh -oh, then we'll spill some onions. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll put in some carrots and a little bit of parsnips. And some celery root. Okay. And celery. And we let that caramelize a little bit. Rosalie, what are you smelling? About a quart of uh, veal stock or um, chicken stock with a little bit of uh, veal demi glaze in it, some bay leaves and thyme, mm -hmm. and cover it, stick it in the oven, and then about two and a half or three hours later. How many hours? <laughs> two and a half to three hours. Okay. <laughs> so you uh, so you put this in early in the day while you're uh, while you're getting ready for uh, wait, have a few minutes mm -hmm. and then you go watch a football game or uh, hang out with your friends and family and there's what comes out nice delicious tender short ribs. Oh my goodness. So tender. You can't even pick it up. Rosalie, can we switch places? Can can you come here so I can go there and smell what George just made for everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And one of the nice things about short ribs or these short ribs in particular, which are bone in short ribs is mm. they're a really economical cut. You may not find them at your grocery store. So you may have to uh, go to virginiabeef.org to track down your local butcher or a farmer or producer that could provide these short ribs for you. Um, but like I said, they're a very economical cut of meat, but at the same time, they're delicious and tender um, and could very easily compare to a ribeye or a New York strip. Definitely. Now, George, can you put one of those on a plate for me? I got another request for you. Just just put a little sure. rib on a plate for you. Right here. We got to pretend like I'm there, OK? We got to make this real. <laughs> yeah, we, actually, we actually like to uh, put them on a plate with some uh, Nice mashed potatoes mm. and then pour all the sauce over them. Yeah, well, go ahead and just, mm, I'm so jealous. So, oh, my goodness. And that is just. Okay, way to make us yeah, jealous. Mm -hmm. Eat mm -hmm. a little bit of that. Have a nice glass of wine. 
So let's seal and the deal. What flavors are we tasting? I saw you added the onions and you added, you know, the other the seasonings. What 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 flavor are we getting? Let me. I just really want to imagine. This is just nice, rich mm -hmm. beet flavor. Um, you know, we do put a little bit of red wine in it and reduce that a tad also. But I mean, this is just uh, the best beef stew you'll ever make right here. Oh my gosh! And guess what, guys? If you visit vabeef.org to find the Virginia Beef Directory, you can find local beef near you, as well as today's recipe, cooking tips, and more. So, George Uji, we've got Rosalie Potter from Potter Family Farm. We thank you guys for joining us. We got more 12 about town today coming up after the break.